Hi guys. Here's eight devastating red flags you should never ignore. As a man, it's extremely imperative for you to be aware of all warning signs when dealing with a woman. Because some, sometimes they can be so covert and subtle that you completely miss them if you're not paying close attention. But they could be detrimental if you do miss them. Number one, disrespect. It doesn't matter who. It could be disrespect towards you, her exes, or others. I unfortunately see this one way too often. It's very common for women to refer to their exes as like the worst thing that ever happened to them. And the intensity will vary greatly depending on how badly that relationship went for them. If a woman talks about her exes in a derogatory or malicious way or shows disrespect, disrespectful behavior towards you or others, then it's highly likely that she has trouble treating men with respect in the relationship. You're not required or obligated to tolerate disrespect because once you do, it's a snowball effect that will only lead to more and more disrespect. It doesn't get better. It gets worse. The best thing to do in this situation is to move on and find someone who actually does respect you as a man, your relationship, and others. Number two is no self-accountability. Now, most people have issues with self-accountability because it's a very uncomfortable place to be in. It takes a certain level of maturity to be able to come to the realization of your own individual faults and take ownership of them. So if you find that she constantly blames everyone else for her issues and circumstances while not taking any kind of responsibility for her own actions, she's almost guaranteed to have a difficult time with emotional self-regulation in a relationship. A, a lack of self-accountability is a major warning sign, one that's highly indicative of immaturity and narcissism. Run, don't walk. Number three is lack of commitment. The phobia of commitment has become extremely prevalent in recent years. The praise of hookup culture has in turn demonized and stigmatized commitment. If she has a history of short-term relationships and shows little to no interest in committing to a serious relationship, brags about how many men want her, etc., then it's safe to draw a few inferences in regards to where her current stance is with commitment. This is not to say she won't be ready for commitment in the future, but it's never smart to go off of a possible future and what-ifs with someone. You have to go off of absolutes and certainties, not what you hope they will eventually be. Even if you're not wanting a long-term relationship with this woman, let's just say you're just talking. A woman that doesn't have the discernment and self-regulation to control her encounters with men long-term is a huge red flag because naturally women are more hardwired for commitment than men. Women that exhibit the traits of relationship jumping and man hopping, technically, they, they typically have some kind of form of unresolved trauma in the past that's making them act in this manner. Number four is effective communication skills. <sighs> effective communication skills are becoming more and more scarce because of the rise of immediacy and instant gratification. If a woman has difficulty expressing herself clearly, displaying active listening skills and demonstrating respect for your point of view, even when she doesn't agree with it, that's a big red flag. There are several studies that reveal that new generations will have extreme issues with effective communication skills due to the lack of development in their social skills and because of the use of cell phones and social media. If she doesn't possess the communicative capabilities that every successful human interaction requires and is built upon, then she's no different than a child and the outlook of your dealings with her will be extremely stressful. Number five is judging other men. Watch how she talks about other men. If everything she focuses on centered around, centers around what type of job they have, what type of car they drive, their status, how a man should act, etc., that's a big red flag that she's extremely shallow and will judge you using that same barometer. Usually with a woman like this, they'll stick around for a while until somebody else comes along who they feel is better or an upgrade. Essentially, they're extreme opportunists. Number six is jealousy. This could be done in micro doses or mega doses. Small amounts of jealousy can be normal, but excessive amounts of jealousy can indicate insecurity and possessiveness. A woman who is overly jealous will eventually try to control you, who you interact with, and what you do. Jealousy typically starts off in a very covert and passive aggressive fashion to test to see how you'll react to it. Here's an example. Let's say you're going out to hang out with some friends. You might catch her saying little things like, man, you sure do go out a lot. Or, man, you sure do love hanging around your friends. She also may laugh during or after saying these things in an attempt to lessen the blow but still get her point across. If she's texting you, she might put an LOL at the end for the same reason. On the other hand, when jealousy becomes overt and blunt, it can manifest as where were you? Who were you with? Are you cheating on me? I don't trust you. Why do you keep staring at her, etc.? 
A jealous woman is a highly insecure woman and no amount of effort on your end will change that. Number seven is lack of empathy. When people hear lack of empathy, they automatically think of self-centeredness and the negative connotations that's attached to it. But self-centeredness is necessary because it precedes self-confidence. So I believe self-centeredness is beneficial in several instances. However, like everything else, too much of a good thing can turn into a bad thing very quickly. So what does this look like? This looks like her having difficulty putting herself in other people's shoes and sympathizing with them. This might look like when you start talking about something that bothered you or something that upset you, she changes the subject and becomes visually uncomfortable. This can look like her not being able to comfort and console you when you need it. If she's displaying these traits, it's a setup for a long road ahead of hurt feelings, stress, and anger for you. Number eight is attention whoring. Proceed very cautiously when dealing with a woman that engages in attention-seeking behavior. Women typically seek attention in three different ways. One, physical appearance to draw attention to themselves by dressing provocatively or wearing attention-grabbing clothing. Two, social media to post pictures or updates designed specifically to attract attention and garner likes, comments, and followers. Three, attention-seeking behavior to achieve constant validation or praise, being overly dramatic and loud, creating conflict in order to get attention and self-victimization. The dangerous part about being with a woman like this is the reputation that she brings along with her. Because once you start associating yourself with her, that reputation is now an issue you have to deal with. If she doesn't care about how she's perceived through the lens of the world that's viewing her, how do you expect her to, to be able to practice discernment with you? If she doesn't respect herself, how do you expect her to respect you? If she's unable to represent herself correctly, how do you ever expect her to be able to represent you correctly? These are the questions that you have to ask yourself when dealing with a woman. We as humans have this innate tendency to overlook major red flags in someone we like. But ultimately, this will come back to bite you in the ass if you let your emotions override your logic. So until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.